Hello, hello. How are we all doing today? Hopefully that transition worked because I've been waiting a long time to use that. It's a little bit, little bit glitchy, but I think it's cute. How is everyone today? Are we all doing well? Hopefully the music is good compared to me, but let me know because obviously first stream back, there's going to be some issues. So if there's any audio things that need changing, just let me know and we'll have a go at fixing it. Just, it's not a, it's not a stream, especially a return stream if you're not messing around with the audio for the first half an hour, right? So, <laughs> oh, but hello, welcome. Oh, it has been a while. This is a weird sensation because usually when I'm talking to myself, I'm recording. So this to me is like, oh God, you can hear me live. If I make a mistake, you'll hear me. So, <laughs> but it's good. It's uh, good to be back. I don't know how much we're going to be streaming, but you know, we'll take it as it comes. <gasps> Dudes, hello. So let's just let's just start this off straight away. Let me just pop a little thing in chat, and hopefully this works. Doot is the solo developer of the game we're going to be playing today. So all the details you need to know about the game are right there. This is a link to the Steam page and a link to Doot's Twitter. So please go along and give them some love. I played the demo and the video is up on my YouTube, which if while I'm, you know, while I'm doing uh, things, there we go, you can go to the YouTube link right there. And we played the demo that went up the other day and we're going to be playing the full game today. It comes out on the 19th and Doot has been very, very kind and given me basically early access. So we're going to be playing that later on today. I made this just chatting screen fresh for this and it's definitely not my neatest work but I thought it was cute. Got the little froggo up there and he's honestly one of my favorite things. Like I fell in love with him when I played the game in the demo so I'm glad to be playing this again today. How are you doing dude? How are you today? mistakes if I naturally even thank you dragon like it's weird but it actually helps to hear that because the amount of times I make mistakes in recording and I just edit it out and I'm like it's fine nobody knows how much I stuttered over that word <laughs> oh, a bit tired have to admit yeah I feel feeling really tired lately it's it's very weird just I guess that's what happens when you get back into the working world. Eh? It's just like you've got things going on constantly and the body's just like, please, I need a break. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's it's been a been a busy few weeks for me, honestly, like ever since Steam Fest, I've just I've just constantly had things to do. Like I, I know um, life and May, you both were doing stuff during uh, Steam Next Fest. I recorded 13 videos during that. Technically 14 because I had to re-record my Bulwark video. I I was I was silly and I paused it halfway through and I didn't unpause the recording, so I had to start again. But it's fine. So <laughs> we are I was basically I was busy all that week recording and I've been trying to catch up with some editing, do some more Sims content and I've had a bunch of IRL meat space stuff going on as well so this for me is like the busiest I've ever been but it's been good. Mostly nerves, I think I managed to limit the chaos. Yeah I'm I'm very nervous being on today but surrounded by friends so you know it's a good space. Lots of lots of very friendly faces in chat today so we're all uh we're all welcome and all just if you're nervous it's all good uh, so am i but as uh, one of my favorite streamers likes to say if you're nervous it means you care so we all care a lot here <laughs> yeah with it almost being launch day as well it's uh, three days until launch right so yeah i'm sure it's gonna go well though like the the demo had a lot of really good stuff in it and i i'm excited to see what happens with this 
You think you got in nine and that was hard. Yeah, that was that was some hard going. And like during Steam Next Fest as well, over one weekend, I had family staying as well. So I had to kind of be like, hey, uh, any other weekend I'd come and hang out with you, but I got work to do. And I came upstairs and I played like city builders for three hours. Just remembered something. If you want to have a volume slider, I have a dev version that has it. Oh, interesting. That is one thing which I did notice. Like I've got, I've turned it down a little bit on OBS. So when we boot into the game, hopefully it's not going to blast anyone's ears out. But like, I love the music in it, but I did have to turn it down just a little bit because it's great music, but it was very hard to hear myself. Like during the recording, I was finding myself struggling to speak over it. So. I can do some adjustments in uh, OBS to see what kind of happens with that, but I think that should be fine. We'll uh, we'll tweak some things a bit. It's going to be a bit of a just see how things go today. But yeah, I'm very excited to be playing this honestly because like it's been a long time since I've played a game and I've just been like scream laughing just to myself. Uh, like going into this game with this like absolute like I don't know what it is about the music it's so like as I said in the video like retro arcade vibes it's like super happy and upbeat and it just makes you feel good so going in there with this like cartoon frog that just has all these powers I can't wait to show everyone today it's gonna be so much fun Sorry, bear with me one second, guys. Uh, I'm just checking a couple of settings here because uh, I have so much stuff on OBS and as organized as it is, um, I'm still kind of learning where everything is. So <laughs> I'll be one second, just making sure that I've got everything where it needs to be. Alright, there we go. I'm um, just doing some little adjustments to things in the background. Right, um, I'm just doing some little adjustments to things in the background. Um, I'm just doing some. For some reason, I'm hearing myself echoing. Hopefully, you guys didn't hear that, but if you did, oh well. Like, it's happening. Like, <laughs> oh, I've got like all these different tabs open and everything that I need to remember where everything is. Like, it's been a long time since I've had to focus on having this much open, so. Apologies for any issues that happen, like, it's, it's going to be natural, you know, um, but we'll get there. Yes, I, I did have my uh, my stream open at Twitch, yeah, I, uh, I opened it because I, don't worry, I saw your, your DM to sort the audio, but it wouldn't let me open it on my phone, that was what I was sorting, it was trying to find where that message was, so I had to open it on my computer, and forgot to mute the stream, so, <laughs> rookie mistake. <laughs> Hi Mitch, how are you? We're just kind of, just settling back into the vibe of it. It's been, been a long time, but, you know, I've uh, been trying to just get used to talking to myself, like, doing all these different recordings and stuff it's been great practice to kind of sit there and be like like I can just say whatever I want but I have to remember that people are also listening so <laughs> I can sit there and say silly things on recordings and go yeah let's not include that in the video and just cut it so if I say any silly things I can't edit it so <laughs> you can all just laugh at me with me it's fine we'll be having a good time silly things are the best yeah um as long as they're not embarrassing things then you know it's good
never at you, only with. Thank you, Munchin. I appreciate you. That's the thing. I feel like I can say, like, I can laugh at myself. But saying I can laugh with myself sounds a bit weird. But you say it as, like, laughing with somebody else as opposed to at. I don't know. Language is funny. You know what nonsense comes out of my mouth? Yeah, it's, it's so funny, right? Because, like... Sometimes I feel like I sound like a normal person when I talk and then I get into a conversation with somebody and I'm like, did I really just say that? Like, is this how I sound? <laughs> like, the amount of times I've been like, you and I have been playing Apex and then I'll say something silly and be like, am I? I'm not playing alone, am I? I just really said that. Cool. <laughs> oh, it's your everyday life. Oh, that's the thing that like, I'm like, I'm one of those people that say, like, I pride myself on my language. Like, I think very carefully about the words that I say and try and make sure that I'm always just, like, very carefully handpicking the right words to say. And then when I get nervous, I just have, like, word vomit. And it just... I don't know how to end a sentence. Like, you guys know when I've just been typing and it comes out with a wall of text. And it's like, this, this wall of text could have been a two-word email, but here we are. <laughs> I have no clue what you're talking about. We have normal adult conversations and 100% can find the correct words. You know, the thing with the thing. Yep. This is us every time we play that game, though. It's just like, there's a, a person over there with the, the, the red thing, you know, and it's like, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. The, the red, the box. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's always good when you get that communication, but like... I'm still just trying to get used to it all, um, but it's going to be good. As soon as we get into the game, it's just me going to be screaming, ah, oh, it's a cute frog, so, <laughs> you know. Ugh. But yes, how is everybody today? Like, has anybody got any good plans for the rest of the week? I know a lot of people are probably going to be getting into work, but hopefully it's not going to be a bad week. I know we've just had some really crappy weather this weekend, but it looks like it's... It looks like the rain, well, I mean, it looks pretty bad outside, but hopefully it's not going to be uh, too bad. As long as it doesn't rain on Wednesday, I have a, um, I have a thing happening on Wednesday, which may or may not land me a volunteering job. So pray for no rain on Wednesday, because I don't want to show up to that interview with freshly dyed hair and like dripping down my face. <laughs> oh my God. That little froggy emote is the best thing. Please, he's so cute. Oh, I love him. I wanted to have him bigger on this screen, but I didn't know how to have him bigger without covering the chat screen. And I was like, he's just gonna have to sit at the top. <gasps> oh, those little guys, the flying frogs. Oh, those had me so confused when I was playing the game, like, the, where they were flying in the middle of the screen, and I was like, ah, how am I going to hit this? And, like, I love just how many different things you've got going on in the game, like, the ways they move, the way they attack, like, it's going to be good. So, honestly, I might just jump straight into the game. Let's not, uh, let's not faff about. Um, we are going to pause Pretzel because otherwise it's going to get confusing having two sets of music. So let's pause that for now. I'm going to jump over to the game screen. And now, please bear in mind, this might be loud when I first boot it up, but I will adjust it. So just potential warning for headphone users. There we go. I think we're up. All right, before we actually get into anything else, please just do let me know. Like, if you need me to turn it down, I, I would move it down in OBS. There we go. Is that a bit better? Just have to tab out of the game to change it, so... Hopefully that's a little better. I've turned it down a bit further. Oh yeah, no worries, dude. Yeah, um... 
it's the thing, just all I have to do is just like turn down my headset a little bit and it's not too bad. That's better. Somewhere in between would be great. So it can go up a little more, you think? The music's a bop. It really is. Right, let me see. It was on 17. Took it down. So let's try. Let's try about there. That's a little louder, but not as loud as it was before. How about that? Fantastic. Awesome. Right, so let me just bring up the Steam page. I won't have chat for a second, only because this game um, is in full screen and I only have one monitor. So I'm going to bring up Steam on my phone, so please bear with me one moment. Um, but we're just going to have a quick read through the Steam page before we get into the game, just so you guys can really kind of see the detail as it's written out. Here we are, Froggy's Battle. Here we are. So, Froggy's Battle is an action roguelike game set in a loop. Help Froggy, the sleazy magician skater frog, defeat all the baddies squatting her favourite riding spot. Choose your upgrades carefully, become more and more powerful, and kip flip, ki kip flip? kick flip yourself out of waves of enemies and ferocious bosses. This is honestly like i recorded this game i had like three hours of footage to edit down because i played this so much like anyone who didn't see the video i uh, i counted all of my deaths including the ones i edited out and i had by the end of the, the video 21 deaths and i still couldn't beat the boss so hopefully we're going to beat the boss today but it's oh this is just so much fun so just to have a quick look through this menu so you can have a peek at what we have we have the achievements here. This was not available in the demo, and I am so excited to start getting some of these achievements. I'm going to be such a collection master. Not collection master? That's not the right word. What's the word for like, like an achievement hunter? That's the word. I I absolutely am going to die 10 times and just die. That's going to happen almost immediately, probably. <laughs> uh, I love the some of these, though. Like, unlocks a new trick. So, and, Getting achievements looks like unlock stuff. Curious and hard mode. Ooh. Okay. Sweet. All right. So I'm gonna be looking forward to getting some of these. And I'm just wanna take a quick peek at the credits because, like, before we actually start playing, let's just give credit where credits due. Honestly. So. Apologies if I say any of these names wrong, but obviously we have our lovely Doot who's here in chat with us. Design, programming, and art. Fantastic art style in this game. It's so cute. Ooh, this version's missing somebody. Feel free to put in chat who it is and I'll, uh, I'll shout them out as well. Um, so we have Do or Dao. I'm not sure how you say that, but the menu and store page art. We have Heatly Bros for the music and Blib Loop for the trailer and additional art. We do also have a trailer, which actually, I can show you the trailer before we get into the game. I forgot I did that. I came prepared and I forgot. <laughs> Zaku. Zaku made the sounds. Awesome. Well, for such a small team, this is, this is absolutely adorable. We love this. But let me actually... Yeah, let me go back to the Just Chatting page. I forgot that I had the trailer. Let's actually show that. Ta-da! Move to the other page. And where did I leave the trailer? That is not the right video. <laughs> um, one second. We might see a little... <laughs> Okay, it won't let me interact with it while it's hidden, so let me see if Studio Mode will let me do it without <laughs> without you guys watching a James video. Um, that was not James when I uh, opened it before. I don't know how it got to that. Um, sweet. Cool. <laughs> uh, here we go. Trailer. Of course I have to watch an ad. I had this all set up and now I've opened it up and OBS has just completely just messed it all up. Like, thanks OBS, this was great. 
Right, let's unmute that video. Now, hopefully we can see this. Do you guys see the trailer page? Fantastic. I have my phone open and for some reason that's not updating, but cool, fine. Uh, Twitch is being twitchy, but let me know if you can hear this. If I need to change the audio, I don't mind playing the trailer again. But this is the official trailer as seen on YouTube, so let's see what the game's about. Hmm. No audio. Why is there no audio on this? Okay. Sorry, I want you guys to be able to hear it because the music in the trailer is great. So I'm going to see if I can figure out why this isn't happening. I've got it as a browser source. Is that an issue? Hmm. I can grab the desktop audio, yes, because I can, I can just shut my mouth. And, and hopefully... hopefully... Let's uh, try, try this again. again. So, what do we think? Are we excited yet? Because I definitely am. Every time I watch that trailer, like, I I cannot wait for a certain thing to show up in the mail. Some of you know I'm getting it, but the way I was dancing then, and y'all couldn't see it, I was I was actually just full on bopping, like, dun, 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 dun. it was so good. I Something about the music in this game just really kind of hits a point in my heart, which is like, Old school gaming vibes, and I'm absolutely here for it. Uh, apologies for the echo. I'm like, I clicked a button and was like, yeah, I'm not going to talk. Unmute it. Immediately talks. <laughs> but we're learning. Right, let's go back over to the game screen. And let's just start up a round. So, I went over some of this in the video I did on YouTube, but for anyone who hasn't seen that yet, just go over what's on the screen, what sort of things we have. So, using the arrow keys is the direction change. Pressing jump, get space. And Dude was very kind and let me know that you can use a shift to dash, or you can also use the down arrow or the D key, which is fantastic, because for anyone who did see the video, they'll know that I got a little shift happy and turned on sticky keys multiple times. So having a different button for that is fantastic. I really appreciate that. You can jump. You can either jump over them or you can jump and land on them and that does damage. And when you hit them, that also does damage. So we're going to get into a round. We're going to see all the different kind of enemies coming up. But firstly, can I just take a moment just appreciate little frog froggy the hero is his name and he is my favorite thing oh i love him okay right let's get into a round so with these tadpoles the one thing i did learn is that getting behind them is great because the way they shoot forwards it can hit you now each time you clear a level you get a level up on this screen. You get different options. You get three different options. It's usually either 
a uh, stat increase, a weapon, a hat type, or a jump type. And that's your, your trick. So lots of different ways you can do the build, RNG of what you get. So every build is different. Just quickly running over what's on the screen as well. Like on the right hand side, that's your level indicator. So we're on level one and each of the skulls is like a boss or a mini boss. And on the left hand side of the screen at the top, you've got the life indicator and um, the stats. So those will go up. You'll see that like as we get new stuff, you'll see that go up. And then the weapons are all related to different various stats and like damage type so you can build so many different types of builds and it's oh i love it also hi jay i saw you pop in and was explaining but i love you how are you i'm so glad you could be here i'm already like just excited being in this game and this music playing i'm, I'm pumped so so we have the slingshot which shoots rocks out in front of you the Spear, which is a medium range weapon that pokes the enemies from further away. And we have a Fire Wand as well that creates flames in front of you and does burn damage. Does anybody have a build they want to see first? I'm, I've am i already seen like all of these weapons. If there's anything anyone particularly wants to see, let me know. And thank you very much, dude. Do the developer, for anyone who has just come in, uh, Dude is the solo dev for the game and he says if anyone has any questions on the game he is happy to answer so please do feel free to leave things in chat and if one of my mods would be so kind as to pop the battle command as well I would very much appreciate it. Thank you life I appreciate it so that's a link to the steam page and a link to Dude's uh, Twitter as well so please go and follow him on Twitter and give him a bunch of love because this game is so cute. The fire wand looks awesome, let's do it. Ooh, new music sounds. Ooh. Oh gosh. That was new, the sound effects. Oh I love these sounds. All right, so we've got Magician, Lucky Toad, and Skate Master. So each of these stats will give you different things. Like you see underneath it, what the uh, the things that the points give you. So in this case, because we have a magic weapon, we will want to take this one. One one blah, words. One point of magic gives thirty percent extra magic damage and plus ten skate damage. Now, from what I know, skate damage is just when you smack into them with your board that's what you can do with that so with this build we do want to start off with magic for that but lucky toad lucky toad is really good to to kind of take as you go because critical chance is always great but chance of rare upgrades that's actually like more important than i ever thought it was going to be i was like oh yeah cool it'll be rare stuff but especially now that there's updates i can see there's extra levels in this and i'm really excited to see it but having those rare upgrades oh it's going to be so helpful so we're going to go magic first and just check out some of the levels first oh oh, oh no i messed that one up Got him. Right, so this is what I mean by the rare upgrades. So you get to choose a point or ability, but you also get a bonus with it. So in this case, Swift Hero would give you a point in agility, but you also get a point in magic. So it's always really good being able to like pay attention to the kind of weapons you have and also try and build for the future. So in this case, Swift Hero is probably the one we're going to go for, but we also have Lively Froggy. So that gives you one max HP. At the moment, we have five as our max. And getting that takes, or oh, sorry, taking that gets you an extra two missing HP. So this would heal us and give us an extra one. Uh, this early on, I think we'll take this one first. But knowing me, I'm going to die very quickly because I'm... <laughs> I'm not a fantastic gamer and I'm gonna get I'm gonna get squished, but it's all in good fun. We've got plenty of time today. We can die as many times as we want. Come on, 
let's get this guy. Chase down this one. Fantastic. Something I've just noticed actually in the bottom screen. This is new as well, the timer at the bottom. Is that how long it takes you to complete from the beginning to the end? So it says 55 seconds so far, so is that how long it's taken me? Because I did see something in there about it completing it in a set time. It is. Ooh! So you can do speed runs. Oh, I'm, I'm curious about that. We're going to have to see if we can get a personal best in this one. So I'm going to take double Lucky Toad. Let's get us some extra points in that. <gasps> Ooh! Boss music! This is new! So this is Froggo the Bad. This is one of the, the mini bosses that we get in this. Ow! I am absolutely here for this new music. This is such a bop. I'm just... Oh yeah, I'm having a dance just appreciating this music. This is so cool. There are achievements with this, but they're not balanced correctly for now. Interesting. So, are you, uh, I'm just curious, are you planning to add more achievements, or is it more like balancing out what you already have? Because I absolutely am gonna, I will play this, like, as many times as it takes to get all of the achievements, and if they change and there's more achievements, I'll play the game again. Like, this is so cute, and I love it so much. Okay, so... These are the different trick moves you have. So this is, you use the, I think it's A, Q, or X. At least that's what it was in the demo. Um, so we have the backflip, kick flip, or stomp kick. The backflip will give us a bonus luck. But the thing to note about these different ones is the type of damage that it does. So a stomp kick will do critical splash damage. The kick flip does multiple hits, so it's like slightly less damage, but it does it multiple times. And the backflip is like guaranteed crit damage. And we love guaranteed crit damage, so let's take that. Get an extra luck point. Ooh! You're new! They're so cute! Look at the stilts! Oh my god. When they get angry and they just kind of go like doing their thing. Tall boys, yeah. <laughs> nice, you've got the slow mo backflip. We only have three more days of work, so it'll only be balancing. Yeah, that's totally fair. Like, I mean, to be fair, like, even just I can see how much has gone like into this since even the demo and. You put so much work into this, so even even just having achievements is fantastic. So I will I will be really curious to see with the balancing how you go forward with that. You called them high boys during development. Yeah, they are they are cute, but they're also like I like those stilts you see like in the circus, and like I always got scared of seeing people on them because I'm like they're gonna fall and break every bone in their body. I just know it. <laughs> Little toddler tantrums, yeah, when they're like, <laughs> they just have their little angry puff. Alright, so, Swift Hero for extra agility, Skate Master for extra damage on a skateboard, and agility. I'm tempted to take this for the extra points. We don't have any weapons that use agility yet, but because we already have a point in it, we might as well take it and then see, like, as and when we can take another weapon, that would be helpful. So these little roller boys. Uh -huh. In my when I was recording my demo, the amount of times I said auto frogs roll out is like it's kind of embarrassing. Uh oh, speaking of embarrassing, I died. <laughs> I was not paying attention. Bowly boys, absolutely. Do we have a death counter? Uh, I don't have one set up, but if anyone wants to, to keep count, absolutely feel free. You did it! Who's the boss now? Beat the first boss. First achievement unlocked. Unlocks a new weapon. Ooh, a lightning staff. Ooh, this is new and I, I want this immediately. 
<laughs> you died. Unlock a new weapon. So the shield is now unlocked. Nice. The shield I was struggling to use in later, uh, later levels during the demo because it only took out the first hit. So I would be like, yes, cool. It absorbed the hit. And then I got hit seven more times. So that was just me not being able to dodge. But... It is cool though, seeing all these things with the stats coming up here, like the battle time, how many enemies beaten. This is cool, the best DPS 14.5, max damage 26. This is cool seeing all this, like having everything on the page, just summarizing it, like it really kind of shows you your best run and it's like, it's going to be really good to compare as well. Because I, I noticed when I was playing through like Having different builds, like going with a strength build only, or going entirely magic. Like, being able to compare and see what has like, the best DPS and stuff. Oh, that's going to be so much fun. Alright, we go again. Oh, I spawned on top of that guy. That's unfortunate for him. Do, 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 do. Oh, you're not going to give me my favourite weapon on the first, are you? Oh. The way I want the slingshot because of the extra magic, but oh, for those who saw the video, you all know how much I fell in love with the bowling ball. It's it's the funniest thing when you're just skating around and it just yeets a bowling ball. So I'm going to take it because I want you guys to see how cool this is. Look at it in this little hand. Oh, oops, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Oh, it's so fun. Alright, so the bowling ball is a projectile weapon. So taking the agility point, it gives us extra attack speed and extra projectile damage. So that's the kind of thing you want to take for things like the... the I'm going to say the screenshot then. Slingshot. And um, <laughs> you'll get other weapons down the line which are projectiles. So let's get an agility point and do more damage with the, the bowling ball. Come back here. Oh, that guy almost landed on me. That was very close. Okay, so we get another agility point. We can also get skate points just to kind of build that up and do extra skateboard damage. But I want to go see if we can build a full projectile build so we can kind of see how strong getting specific types of builds are. Yeet. The little sounds they make when they like the <laughs> when they ploop out the thing is so like ah oh, I don't know the sound design in this game is so cool like I love all the extra sound effects that went in the demo just like the little sparkly sounds the extra like effects of doing damage. It's just, it's wonderful. Alright, so I want to go with the luck point here because strength and magic isn't going to help us at this point. So let's take a lucky, see if we can get any rare upgrades. Oh, back to the boss music. By the end of the stream, I'm probably going to know this music off by heart and I'll be singing along to it. It's like... Oh god, I'm so bad at music decades, but it almost gives like, almost like 70s vibes. Like, I don't know if I'm the only one who feels that, but it's like, it's so cool. Alright, so, stomp kick, kick flip or lightning flip. Lightning flip was one of my favourites in the demo. You basically do a flip and it, it shoots lightning out of the bottom of your skateboard and it's so good um it does it does do magical damage though and i assume having extra stats in magic would help that do extra so i want to go with kickflip get extra luck and we can see like the extra damage there you see so you do that you press the button and it does like a few extra attacks they're slightly less in damage Oh, whoops. Yeet! Oh, my God. oh, I love these guys. 
Hey, Angie. Ooh, so you don't take damage when you're up high. It's only when you're on the feet. That's good to know. Sweet, so strong boy we're gonna ignore. That will give us 30% physical damage and 10% skate damage. So the skate damage is nice, but the physical damage, we don't have a physical weapon right now. So I'm gonna focus on the other two, but seeing as how I did take a lot of damage because I was kind of screwing around, Oh, the bowling is physical. Of course it is. What am I talking about? It's both, isn't it? Or maybe I read it wrong. I don't know. I'm I'm silly. Uh, strong boy. I can take that. I think I just got so excited about having a bowling ball that I didn't read it properly. Yeah, this kickflip is so nice. Just... I mean, the animation alone is adorable, but like, having all the extra damage with it. I tried to have a reminder of your weapon's damage type in the final version. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that would be really helpful, I think. Like, being able to see, like, obviously at the side for anyone who's looking for it, like, skills and equipment on the left hand side i'm pointing at my screen like you guys can see it that's silly but <laughs> so under equipment you can see the bowling balls so you can see what you have but i think having that written next to it like just like a little even just like little bullet points underneath that would be really helpful actually right but so we are here for the one of my favorite parts of this pro, pro streamer pointing at things that chat can't see absolutely like I'm a professional. Y'all y'all know that I'm like pointing at the bowling ball picture now, right? Like <laughs> Oh, but yes, this is my favorite part of the game. I mean anybody who doesn't yet know that my literally my name Mad Melina comes from the Mad Hatter. Like I freaking love hats and the second like this is what made me get the game. I saw it on Twitter of being able to get hats and I was like, I need this game immediately. <laughs> so Seeing as you've got points in agility, this one would be a good one. But let's just have a look through all of these. So, the archer hat, it's uh, it shoots arrows in a forward arc. And it does 5 damage with a 1.5 second cooldown. And that's both physical and projectile. I'm actually ridding properly now. <laughs> the magic hat does 10 damage and spawns fireballs. And it shoots that directly upwards. And that's got a two second cooldown. That's both magical and projectile. And then the Jester Hat, which in this case has bonus HP. Um, I don't actually understand. This is something that I was like, the two by two damage. I know, is that because it throws two juggling balls and they both do two damage? Is that what that means? Swanky hats are the best. <laughs> they really are. I. I felt so sad um, in our D&D campaign, our Barbarian lost their pimp hat. Oh, I need to get Fen a new hat. I will do that. The very cute toads were just the bonus to the hats. Yes, and at least for me anyway, because like the Froggo, Froggy the hero is adorable anyway. But when you see him with a hat on, my my heart melted. I was like, I need, I need him. Uh, so let's see. I think we can go with the Jester hat, actually, because that's physical and projectile and gives us the extra health and you get to see him throw juggling balls. So let's do it. Look at him. Isn't he just the cutest thing you've ever seen? I love him so much. Like le legit, if there is ever like merch for this game, I'm buying it. Ow! Ooh, I accidentally just pressed the up key, but good to know that pressing up also does jump. And I did notice though, which is something that's really interesting to keep in mind, those stilt guys were not getting hit by the bowling balls. So that's good, you have to actually get up to hit them. It takes a jester to battle tall boys and bolly boys. Absolutely. So, as much as I want to take Lucky Toad, I think I need to take the Lively Froggy because I have one hit point left. 
So that gave us extra health and healed us for some. Oh, he's rolling. No! I saw that happening as soon as I as soon as I pressed the button, I'm like, he's gonna hit me, isn't he? 32 damage, that's nice. At this stage of the game. Smack him in his face. I like that you get so many of the kick flips. Like, it's not too long of a cooldown that you get to use it a lot, which is nice. Ooh, this is kind of perfect actually for the build we've got now, because we're going physical and projectile, which by the way, thank you for letting me know that dude, because I completely forgot. But this gives us strength and agility, so that's basically going to boost everything. Ah, nice, you get individual health bars now. Whoops. I'm not looking at the screen because I'm like checking the side, but yeah, this is something that wasn't in the demo, which is a really nice thing to add actually, so I do appreciate that, of having the separate health bars for the bosses. Oh, oh, new stuff, new stuff. I'm like happy dancing. Okay. And with this music as well, I'm like, yes, new stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Projectile duplication. Projectiles have a 50% chance to be thrown twice. Let it rain. Okay, that sounds amazing. Extra pain. Yes. Critical damage deals three times instead of two times. Ouch. Yeah, ouch. <laughs> oh gosh, this is, this is going to be amazing. Just the picture alone reminds me of having in Diablo, there were boots of fire walking and everywhere you walked it left a trail of fire behind you and that picture is what that reminds me of it spawns fire that deals ma magical damage while moving your skate style is fire <laughs> oh i love this okay um oh, choices uh, i'm an iffy nor decisions are hard um i think i'm gonna go with duplicate projectiles because give me f like four give me four jester balls and bowling balls like Ooh, this style is different. And new songs as well. Okay, these jester balls are actually kind. Of, whoops. Um, let me finish my sentence before I address what just happened. Um, <laughs> having the jester balls, the angles on those hitting those flying guys is really good. And especially when you get two, it was like one hitting them. Oh, well, technically two hitting, but that was really nice. Yeah, I love the way, like, I can feel all the improvements from the demo to this stage. Like, having the extra stuff, the way that the map looked different as well. And, like, just looking at this now, achievement, how many are there? Beat the twin boss, unlocking a spiky hat. Please. My little emo heart immediately needs that spiky hat, but like in real life as well. Like, I want to wear that, please. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. If you made merch of some of these hats and like a little plushy froggy, like, I would immediately buy it. Right. So we've seen the fire wand. Does anybody have a preference? Do they want to see me use the sword or the spear? They're both physical damage, but I'm happy to kind of show off anything that you guys want to see. We'll have a look at everything, but if you have a preference, let me know and we'll check out specific things. Pokey boy, spear it is. I do like the spear, like having the extra range. Let's get him. Stab. I don't recommend actually like stabbing frogs in real life, don't do that. But in the game, it's fine because he's the hero. It's nice to do a playthrough where you don't have to do the exact thing every time. It makes playthroughs more enjoyable. Absolutely. Like this is one of my favourite things about it. Having the like the random generation, like, it does mean every run is slightly different and like 
a couple of the run-throughs I did when I was recording the demo like were very specific like you're always getting strong boys for a strength build but some of them were like you kind of got a little bit of everything so it's really interesting to see of like if you go for like a balanced build a little bit of everything versus like all in one thing it's so fun to just kind of see like you know it's not like every single stage is exactly the same so it's just it's a lot of fun definitely replayable just poking them so they go away nicely i just want to skate alone in a loop oh yes absolutely i just realized i've been saying he this whole time because my default on something's cute is to go oh little man but Yes, she. Froggy is a she. Thank you very much for reminding me. I'll be better at that. Um, let us take the strong boy, I think. Get the extra escape point. You can't. I don't think she minds. Bless her. <laughs> I mean, on that note, like, also, like, I mean, I go by any pronouns, so I absolutely respect it. Like, you can call me anything you want as long as you're not being rude, so... Let's go with strong boy. Let's get the extra skate and strength point. Nice. I don't think we did damage that round. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go with... Hmm... Now, should we do skate and get an extra skate point, or should we go with luck? What do you think? Because the extra skate point will give us one extra damage and extra movement speed. We get 25% extra speed with this, which is nice. Like, getting away from things quickly is always fun. Like, being able to dash out when you've got a bunch of enemies. Hmm. I think we go skate master. Luck's really nice early, but skate is fun. Skate is good, especially when you're, like, when you're on the ground, you do do a lot of damage on the ground, so having that is definitely nice. Look for quick foods. Enjoy foods, Jay. Ooh, especially if you have kickflip. That's good to know. So, like, having making sure you're keeping the right combinations of stats with the jumps and the tricks. All right. We'll see if Kickflip comes up. We'll see and we'll take that and see what difference it makes. Oh god, he really is fast. Oh no! Oof. Almost got hit that time. Hmm. Okay. Luck and agility. Although we're not using agility yet. I do like that you get extra attack speed. Hmm. I kind of want to take the Lucky Toad, I think. Because that just... I like having double stats. I got really lucky on one run in the demo where I, like, almost every single run, or, like, every end of a level, uh, I was getting rare chance. Um, words are hard, but I, I think... I hope you know what I mean. Like, rare cards... Ooh, here we go, the kick flip. So this is what you were saying about dealing damage multiple times with the extra skate damage. So I want to take kick flip and see if we can see the difference it makes. Ooh, yeah, you can definitely see that. It's usually, I think, about three damage. So that literally doubles it. Do, 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 do. Da, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I love this music so much. Like, it's going to be in my dreams, and I, I'm not mad about it. Alright, let's get the extra skate point. Let's just go full on skate. Damn, this guy's got a lot of help. I'm coming for you. Hmm. 
Now, the musical headset was one of my favorite things in the demo. Oh, the ability to stun enemies was... it was brutal, but like in the best way. So, with the mu musical headset, it blasts musical notes and it hits close enemies. It was OP in the video, it really was. Uh, I don't know if it still has the same stun in this version, but... Oh, it's so nice. Bit sad you don't have the spiky hat choice. Yeah, it's, it's a shame, but we'll play enough rounds, it'll probably come up later. Um, I think... hmm... Now, I, we've already seen the Jester hat, so I think we'll use a different one. What do you guys reckon? Do you want to see the magic hat or the music headset first? we got two second cooldown on the fire projectiles and that's magical and projectile. Music? Let's do it. Him wearing this little headset, like, I can't tell you how happy that made me. Now I'm coming for you. Oh, let's jump over that so we don't get hit in the feet. Nice. Ooh, now this makes sense to take now, definitely, because the extra health, like, that was the one thing I noticed I got about, like, when you're doing these kind of rounds, I noticed we have a boss in two rounds time. Having the extra HP is going to definitely be helpful then. Get stabbed. Don't take that out of context, please. Ugh. That was bad timing on my part. Look at him go. He's so fast. To avoid getting hit by that other guy. He angry. <gasps> Ooh. I don't know if you guys can see that because it came up as a Steam achievement there, but I did just get one, so we'll have a look at that at the end. Ooh, right. Magician for extra agility. Lucky or Skate Master with health. I feel like we're going full skate build. This is something I didn't try in the demo, is going full on skate. So, I'm really curious how this works out. Like, all this extra movement speed, uh, he's like, he's zooming. Whoa! Right, one down. Come here, Frogo the Bad. You're going down. Nice. Oh! <gasps> I read that as Buffy, and I mean, that sounds like something that Buffy the Vampire Slayer would have. Extra strength, magic, agility, skate, and luck. Who's weak now? Not us. Damn. The fire starter, though, like, although it's magical fire, I want to see how high we can get the skate damage. Like, I'm curious what the cap is. So, I'm going to go with Magical Fire. <gasps> oh, it looks so cool. Ooh, I can't reach him, actually. Get down here. Oh, it's <laughs> so fast. <gasps> I can't reach him yet. Come on, come down here. Got him. This music just got really intense, and I'm I'm here for it. Ooh, now, do we want the extra health at this point? Because we have three to heal, and this will give us extra, an extra max. I don't know what the max is, so it'd be interesting to push that. Hmm. 
I might need help with this decision, actually. I'm kind of not sure. Do we take Skate Master or do we heal? Hmm. I mean, we're already, like, super fast, so I don't know if we need to be any faster. Do I can heal? Might be important. Yeah. Just looking at... I was just looking at the levels, actually. Yeah, we've got a lot of boss rooms coming up. Ooh, hello! <gasps> oh, I love them! I mean, they're trying to kill me, so I'm, I'm not loving that, but... Oh, gosh. So, t ooh, they change direction as well. So, do these guys, like... Do any of these enemies have official names other than like Froggy the Bad? Or is it just kind of like the names you gave them, just like cute little nicknames? I'm so curious. Ooh, this is the new one we got the lightning staff. Spawn lightning on a random enemy. Ooh, that would be fun. The thing is, we've not gone really particular on any of our other stats, so we can pretty much take whatever we want here. You haven't found cute nicknames yet, but would love suggestions. I mean, if anyone in chat's got suggestions, please leave them. Like, oh, I mean, mostly I'm like, oh, look at that cute cannon dude. And I'm like, I'm not very good at names, but like, I mean, the, the tall boys is just, or the high boys, gotta love that. Cannon boy, yes. <laughs> that's, that's, I mean, it's very much fitting. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. It's doing a lot of damage. What? Oh, we have another mini boss. Huh. Nice. There we go. All right, Magician, Swift Hero, Lively Froggy. I kind of want to take the Magician point, I think, because now that we've got the Lightning Rod, we want to kind of boost the damage on that. Your build looks really powerful. I'm liking this build, honestly. Like, although everything else is very much even, like I can, I can really see how that skate damage has really helped out. Ah, oh, these jumpers, like these little guys up here, were the bane of my existence in the demo. <laughs> Just like trying to get them to come down low enough to hit them. Ooh. Oh god. That's a lot of cannon fire. Ooh. Uh oh. Keep forgetting to dash as well. Oh, let's jump over cannon fire for that one. Oh, the lightning got that guy. I didn't even have to reach him. Right, extra magician, extra skate. Uh, I do, I do have a question on that dude. Actually, uh, is there a cap on how high the stats can go? Because I'm curious, like, at what point? Um, like, if I was to keep taking s skate damage, like, how- Oh god, can I count? Two, three, four, I have seven skate points so far. Cap of ten. Okay, so I can still take extra points. I kind of want to do it. Like, let's get as many points as we can. I want to see how strong skate is. Ooh, hello. Oh, he's fast. Yeet! Oh, there's a lot of guys here. Get back here. No! I like that this is like 
This feels like, I don't know if it is, but it feels like a remixed version of the song from before, and this is even more intense. Like, I love that it just gets you pumped. Oh! That was a mistake. Come on. This is a strong build. we got to get him. Ah, oh, this guy is, he's got a lot of health, though. Ah, uh, where's he going? Oh, come on, we're so close to getting him. Come on! Stop running away from me when I'm trying to kill you! Yay! Oh! <laughs> right, so... I don't know if that was the second to last room or if we're about to go into the second to last room, but... Oh! Did it really CC? Did it really say Pokemon? So close to getting him. Oh my god. Pixel chat, bless it. It tries really hard, but... I don't know if it's because I mumble or because I talk so fast, but... Pixel chat kind of has a really difficult time picking me up properly. Like, if anybody has other recommendations, I know OBS had something they mentioned about inbuilt captions. I can give that a go at some point if we want, to sort of see how that goes. It's almost cheating that you know which way the Frogo goes with the red arrow. It would be curious to try it without the, the red arrow. Like, I mean, I'm liking it at the moment because you kind of get used to it. It's working fairly well. That's the only one I noticed. Okay, that's good. I know I did a video where I recorded with that and it was kind of trash. But if it's working alright, then I'm, I'm good with that. I think that would be hard. I would be curious if it's like putting it on like expert kind of mode. Like taking away those red arrows. I'd be curious how hard that was. Alright, so let's see. We've got 8 points in skate. This will get us extra skate point and gives us plus 10% skate damage as well. <laughs> Life would be the one to suggest making something more challenging, really. Uh, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I do the same thing with knitting where I'm like, I want to try and knit something new. Um, I'm going to go with the most complicated thing I can think of. But, I mean, I like a challenge, so I would be down for it. Be ready for the last big boy now. Alright, here we go. So this is like boss boss time. I'm a little upset that we only have two health points, but we'll just have to keep dodging. <gasps> Annabelle! How are you? Welcome in. It's good to see you. You came just in time for us to fight the boss. Like, the big boss. Managed to get all the way through the map, and I'm like sitting here, like jamming, uh, just chatting away. But all right, this might take a few goes to get the boss, but let's go. Oh, oh, hello. Okay. Um... Oh gosh. Alright, so I guess we attack the arms and try not to get hit. Ow! Like that. Huh, huh, no. No. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah. Oh. Well, that was interesting. That huge boss, that was a really interesting, like, mechanic. Like, the arms and the tongue going out. I'm, oh, I'm so curious to beat him now. Like, I've seen him and I'm like, alright. Now I know what we've got. Death number three, wah wah. But we did get sneezy tricks, jumping 200 times. I didn't realize I'd already jumped that much, but there we go. <laughs> Apparently I've been spamming the button. But we did unlock the big jump. The big jump, if that's the one I think it is, where you jump to the other side of the map. I was finding that one a little hard to use because I was just getting dizzy with it, but it's a really nice little move. It's a low death count for Boss Boy. I'm actually surprised. I think I just I had enough practice in the demo that I'm like 
I don't know, like it's like muscle memories come back. So the battle time for that, 6 minutes 25 seconds. We can beat that. I'm not going for speed runs right now because I'm just like really wanting to show off all the different moves and everything. But maybe once we've seen a lot of the extra stuff, we can go, we can see how fast we can do it. So we beat 111 enemies, took 10 hits. That's actually not bad. I thought we got hit more than that. All right. I still can't get over the sound these little tadpoles make. The little mrah. <laughs> Ah, so here's the shield. This is what we got from unlocking it through the achievement. Such a basic boy. <laughs> the little tad boys. I love them. So I'm going to take the shield so we can have a look at him. A uh, look at it, sorry. Um, gives one shield per round that prevents the first hit that it takes. So, I mean, look. Isn't she the cutest thing? Look at me, I got a shield! Yeet! So this is this is interesting to note. Before we um, go to the chest, if you look above the stats, that symbol there, I assume that means that the um, shield is active and still has a hit it can take. So that's good to know. Hmm. Now, what do we do? Having the movement speed and skate damage was nice. So maybe, because we don't have anything specific right now, maybe we take the skate damage. Yeah, I think that's the way we go with this. Alright, let's take this guy out first. Oh, that was a that was a really bad dash. I didn't I shouldn't have gone then. Oh well. Um right, magician, swift hero, lucky toad. Um I feel like at this point early on, luck would be really good. I'm gonna try and get that up as high as we can at the start. Give us a chance for rare upgrades later. Sometimes I get a little trigger happy and I accidentally press the dash and I'm like, I'm just so lucky I didn't get hit there. Alright, last guy. For a second I thought my stomach made a noise so loud and I heard it through my headphones. It was just one of the tadpoles. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really the sound that your stomach makes life? Like, do you need to go and eat? Ah, <laughs> oh, I mean, to be fair, like, I've, prob I've probably made similar sounds before and not even realised, so... <laughs> oh. Alright, I think I want to take, just looking at these immediately, I think I want to take the Swift Hero, because we can try and balance out, like, see if we can get, like, a middle-of-the-range kind of... like, a build with one point in everything. 5 30 p.m. almost and didn't eat a lot today. Yeah, if you need to go off and eat food at any point, absolutely go and do the self care things. Like, go take care of yourself. We're just gonna be here uh, fighting this guy. I'm trying to think of what this kind of music reminds me of. It's like almost like. Like Spanish kind of sounding, like if Sp Spanish music made an arcade remix. Does that make sense? Oh, he's gone all the way over there. Nice. <laughs> Not me trying to persuade Dream to make dinner. I mean. If he would, that means we get to have more life. 
You just ordered? Oh, what did you order, Annabelle? I've, I've, like, I've got leftovers for tonight, so that's nice and easy, but like, I don't have anything planned for the next couple of days, so I'm like... Part of me, like, I know it's going to be a bad idea, but part of me wants to order Taco Bell, because we, uh, knowing that we have a Taco Bell near us, I still haven't tried it yet, and I'm like, I need to know what the fuss is about. Burgers and Twister Fries. Ooh. Twister Fries, are they like the curly ones? Right, so we've got... Looking at the uh, the tricks we have now, so we, we've I think we've seen the backflip, but we haven't tried lightning, and the big jump is the new one. Talking about opening Taco Bell there, I'm really curious how like non-American Taco Bells compare to like the American ones, because I've never I've never been to one like anywhere, so I'm kind of like I don't know. I mean. It's hard being pescatarian as well, because I'm like, a lot of what I've seen on the menu is meat, so it's like, if I'm going for like, one that's got beans in it, there's like two options, but I'm gonna try it anyway, I think, at some point. The lightning's great. Yeah, I love the lightning. So I think I think I want to take this one, just to kind of show it off, because, I mean, lightning was OP before, but like, seeing it, so you like, when you jump, you see it does like that little thing underneath it and it does just about hit these guys which is really good to know so four damage on the hit and then 13 damage roughly with the uh oh, with the lightning there we go right so we've got swift hero a lucky toad or strong boy with agility Let's take this one. We're going to try and go with an all-rounder kind of build, so this will get our strength up to the same with a little boost to agility. Hey, Bowly boys. Oh! Whoops. Yeet! Yeah, I tell you that was one funny thing when I was editing the video. Not only noticing how many times I said yeet, but also noticing how many times the uh, YouTube captions kept saying it was something else. I think at one point it said yeast, and I'm like, that's not correct. <laughs> Ooh, yes, here it is. The Punk Helmet Metalhead. Three damage. It's physical damage. It hits enemies that get close to you. Yes, that's like my entire personality. Get to get in my personal space for too long and I probably will hit you. <laughs> hey, Bolly Boy. Immediately gets hurt. Uh, Bolly Boy, I, I thought we were cool. What the hell? <laughs> All right. Oh my God, look at him. Oh, look at her. Sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm just too excited. Um, she looks fantastic. Just look at how happy she is with this hat. Oh, damn it. I was looking at the hat and I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Food is here already. That was quick. Heading off already. No need to apologize at all, Annabelle. It was good to see you for as long as you were able to be here. So enjoy your food. I hope it's good and uh, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I'm not sure how much longer we'll be on for, but if we're still here and you want to pop back, feel free. We're just going to be hanging out. Right, let's just jump straight into a new round. Let's, let's like, esports this. Let's maybe not esports this. What? What is happening to me right now? Let's just... Can we just pretend that that didn't happen and I didn't just get almost killed by tadpoles? Uh, <laughs> Hi, uh, is that shy Shidey Games? Let me know if I've said that wrong. Uh, if you have a preferred way of me referring to your name, let me know. But welcome in. We are playing Froggy's Battle, which um, if 
someone can again pop the battle command for me, I would really appreciate that. We have the wonderful solo developer dude in the channel. So we're playing the game. This is due to be fully released on July 19th. So we get to play it early because he was extremely kind and let us play it before then. Um, and we're just having fun killing frogs with magic and stuff. So <laughs> welcome in. Uh, how are you? You know, do you saw that tweet about playing the game? Well, welcome in. Thank you so much for popping by. It's always good to see new faces. Uh, this is actually my first stream back after like several months off. I checked, it was apparently the 5th of February I was last live, so it's been a while. Um, but we're, uh, we're back having fun, so... So let's see, fresh round. We haven't, I don't think I've shown you guys the slingshot yet, so let's go with this one. So it's three damage, physical and projectile. It's got a good cooldown on it as well, which is nice. It's pretty fast. I've got to like actually concentrate now. Like saying I'm going to go into esports mode and then almost immediately dying was embarrassing. So <laughs> I'm going to actually try and concentrate. <laughs> so Swift Hero gets us agility and skate points. That will be really good for both just general damage and for the projectiles. So let's do it. That, that was perfect. What are you talking about? Definitely didn't get smushed by the littlest guys in the game. <laughs> Do I really have to take a lively froggy this early in the match? Oh, I don't know. Do I do that or go for one of the other ones? What do you reckon we should do? This is definitely not going to be my best run, but I'm having fun, so who cares? So this one giving 10% skate damage is nice, but yeah, I think if we do this, this will get us up to six health points in total and it'll fully heal us. So I think, yeah, I think that's the way we should go. Yeet. Oh, I'm actually going to get killed by tadpoles. What, what, is, what is happening to me? Am I okay? <laughs> I swear, I'm good at games. Oh god, I forgot I had quotes on. <laughs> Tadpoles on my Doom, they really are this round. Like, I don't remember if they're in all of the rounds, like if they're gonna show up later, but I am, they're gonna be the death of me in this round, they really are. The younger generation's rising up, yeah. This is like me saying, I'm still young, and I think of the 90s as like last year, and I'm like, oh. Like, I suddenly feel old, and then I move around and my back cracks, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not the younger generation anymore. <laughs> How do I like Froggy's Battle after an hour or so? I freaking love this. Like, I played the demo, I have a video of it on my YouTube channel. Um, it was last year, shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. The 19th was last year. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, I played the demo and I loved it. Like, the music is fantastic. Like, the art style, like, I mean, you've seen... Like, I mean, let me actually, let me just go to... Uh, what, am, what is my uh, hotkey? Let's see, did that work correctly? Are we on the other screen? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. there we go. Yeah, I'm just popping over to the just chatting screen for a second. Like, just to say, the color scheme of Froggy's Battle absolutely suits my my color scheme. Anyway, the orange is almost the exact same orange as in Froggy's Battle. It's got green everywhere. It's got black everywhere, and I'm like, this game was like made to be streamed on my channel. Like, it's so me. And going in there, playing a little guy with, or a little girl with, oh, with magic and bowling balls. It's so much fun. 
the best colours. It really is. It's like my favourite colour scheme. Um, I mean, in case you couldn't tell from my, uh, my chunks green, it's absolutely just, I don't know, the style of it, the music, the mechanics, for such a small game with such a small team, you guys have done an absolute incredible job. I have to say it, like, I'm telling everybody I know to play this game because it's just, it's some of the most fun I've had in a game in a long time. And I, I, I feel like I want to play this all the time. So we thought we'll play it on stream today, like show it off to some people for when it's ready to come out. And just because I made a command, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it all the time. There we go. Battle command, there we go. So if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, dude, but um from what I read in the email, when it comes out it will be ten percent off at launch, but it'll be up for one ninety nine. So really not a bad asking price for something which is so much fun. Like for something so replayable, you'll love it. It's definitely worth the money. I'm having such a blast. So honestly, just thank you for all the work you put in. Like, you've given me so many hours of joy already. So, uh, like, I'll tell everyone to play this. I really will. It's actually really hard to make a game, even such a small one, so it helps a lot to hear things. Well, absolutely. Like, I mean, I, I've only been doing proper content creation for a little while now but even just doing stuff for my own channel like making thumbnails and editing things getting subtitles correct like even just for my own like individual videos I know how much like work goes into that now so I have so much appreciation for people like working on their own basically for stuff like this so mad props honestly it's so much fun it would have been ten dollars it still would have been worth it absolutely i'd pay i'd pay good money for this it's it's so fun so let's just hop back over to the game screen uh i can't remember what we were doing with this round but it's probably a write-off because i've not been paying attention so <laughs> i'm just gonna go with luck <laughs> maybe maybe luck will help me survive Alright, it's going this way. Oh. Got him. Ooh, so this time we get to see the big jump with the skate point. So I'm going to take this so you guys can see the difference. Ooh. So this basically takes you all the way to the other side. And like this, when you've got something like a sword or something and you can just dive straight into them oh it's so much fun like when you're actually hitting correctly that is cute like it's fun when you can kind of oh well okay good to know if you head head up oh my god words if you headbutt them but they're attacking it also does damage to you good to know uh, let's try and actually have a proper match this time because I I don't know what happened to me last round, but like I'm a better gamer than that. Right, that's more like it. Warm up round. Yes, every every round we don't win is a warm up round, just always. Um, <laughs> so. Any votes on what kind of build we should go with this time? So we've got Spear, which is physical damage, Fire 1 for magic, and Slingshot, which is physical and projectile. Retry Slingshot so it gets another shot. Pun not intended. Not intended, but appreciated. Alright, let's uh, see if we can get the slingshot some redemption. Sweet. Alright, agility point. We can take that straight away. Give us the extra attack speed and projectile damage. I'm going to try and make sure I'm actually dodging the tadpoles this time because there we are, like that. Actually make sure I'm jumping over them when they're attacking. That's that's usually a smart move to dodge. 
Right, Skate Master or Lucky Toad? Hmm, what do we think? Should we try for early luck, see if we can get some more rare stuff? Or should we just go Skate Damage? Hmm. Because Skate Master doing a full Skate build, that was a lot of fun. But with this one, maybe we want to try and get some more agility stuff. Having the luck for that could be really helpful. Luck! Yeah, let's do it. Ooh. I tried to dodge that one and I completely messed that up. No one... no one talk about it. <laughs> We're fine. Sometimes I get a little confused which way I'm facing. And that's entirely just a me problem, but like... When I think I'm going left, I press the wrong arrow key, and it's because I'm upside down, and I just... I get confused. <laughs> uh, right. Strong boy, health or skate? The extra health would be nice, but... For the projectile, strength, strength would be good. Hmm. I think we'll take strength for now. So I hope, by the way, uh, I never actually asked, but I hope this isn't making anybody motion sick. Like, if it is, I, I apologise. It's just... It's not as bad as a lot of other games I've had because the map is static. But I know for some people it can be quite sensitive to it, so hopefully it's okay for you guys. Ooh, the stomp kick with extra skate. Critical damage to all enemies in range. That feels like a good one for the, what we're going with. It's a pretty pleasant game to watch. That's, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Oops. Whoops. Well, that was close. It helps that the map doesn't move. Yeah, I like. I do like that, the fact that the outside of it is like, you know what you're getting, and it's just, you can kind of just pay attention more like, if you watch the enemies more than you watch yourself sometimes. Like, if you start getting a little dizzy, sometimes I noticed if I was moving too quickly, I was like, I was getting a little bit uncomfortable, but that was literally only when I was like, moving, like, Full, that full skate build, I was I was full on zoom in, and I was like, oh, I need to like pay attention to the enemies more, and it really helped. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one, I think. Strength and skate, that would be nice. Get like a double boost here. Or we could just die. That's also an option. Um, let's move straight on. <laughs> do, 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 do. The way I almost just dashed into that guy's projectile after I killed him. Maybe take a break, it's been more than an hour. That is a good shout, you lose track of time when you're playing this game. Like, it's just, I have so much fun. This is how I managed to spend, like, three hours, like, in the demo. I was like, I just, I just kept playing. Into his what? Um, uh, projectile? I hope that's what I said. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I might consider, like, I'll take a quick break after this round and just go stretch and grab some extra water and stuff. So we'll do, we'll do one more round, uh, go take a, a break and then we can come back, see if we can get to the boss room again and we'll try and beat him this time. So we haven't used the sword yet, so we'll have a look at this build. Sword, the sword build was actually one of my favorites before. Like, having the sword in one hand and getting the spear halfway through, like, perfect combination. So, 
Strong boy. Give us immediately that extra strength. Uh, I think we'll go this way. Get this guy first. Nice, there we go. Responsible dev telling people to take a break from their game. We do love good devs that take care of their players. We do. That's the thing, like, it's so easy to get stuck into things. It's like, simmers will know this. Like, absolutely just being like, oh yeah, I'm just going to play for an hour. And then it's like 12 hours later and you haven't eaten, you haven't had water. And you're like, what year is it? Am I good? All right, let's get these guys at the top. Let's not dash when they're jumping. Because if you dash, you definitely land underneath them. If you don't dash, they land in front of you. Oh no, what's this? My 12-year-old sense of humour. Oh gosh. Am I going to have to watch that at the end? Uh, I don't know how to watch clips, actually. So if somebody knows how to do that, then at the end of stream, we can take a watch. Magician, a lively froggy, lucky toad. Uh, I think, because we're at full health, I think we got lucky toad. Try and get some of those bonuses. That'd be nice. I think you can get away from me. Ooh, I just got another achievement. Dash 200 times. You don't have to, but you don't have a Discord for me to dump them in. Yeah, I mean, if you want to put it in our group chat, feel free and I'll have a watch of it. But if there is an easy way to set it up to watch it, uh, otherwise what I'll do is I'll set it up after stream so it's there for, for future. Um, hmm, right. I do like kickflip, I have to say. Having, like, the multiple hits, especially with the tall guys, it's really nice. You can kind of get in there and just do a lot of damage in one go. Yeah, the kickflip against them is strong. Alright, Lucky Toad, Lucky Froggy, hmm. We have the sword, so we don't need agility yet. Let's go with more luck. Whoops. Couldn't tell which direction they were going, got completely in the wrong way. Oh no, not me checking chat and seeing no heart losses yet after I've just lost two. My bad. <laughs> Favourite enemy so far? Interesting question. Um, I do like the tall boys. They're an interesting enemy to go against, because, like, the height on them, like, you really have to kind of make your build so you can get up there and hit them. Like, you either have to have projectiles to get the right angle, or, like, have the right type of flip. Like, they're cool, like, the, like, you kind of have to kind of think about the way you hit them as well. Like, the fact you can't hit them on the ground, but, like, they can hit you. Like, it's a really interesting enemy. I like the cannon boys, chaotic mortables. Yeah, the cannon boys are cool. Like, I think they're probably a close second, especially of the new ones. Like, like I don't know, they just, this little squat things with massive cannons, it's just, it's such a cool image in my head. It's this teeny little chubby frog that's got like a bazooka. <laughs> I'm curious about you though, dude, while you were making this, like, is there any part of this, that, like any enemy that you made that was like your favorite one to make or anything? While I'm looking at this, I'm actually just thinking, we haven't seen the magic hat yet, so I might go with that one. Just because I want to show you guys what it looks like. Visually, it was proud of the flyer ones. 
they do look very cool. It's like the, the grumpy toad look on the face. I like, I love the little, the windmills. It like reminds me of the old school hats. <laughs> Cannon boys and high boys are the most interesting ones. Yeah, I'm very, I am very interested, like, with all the new enemy types. Like, I mean, the tadpoles are, like, deceptively dangerous little buggers. But I do love the design of these. I mean, like, just the fact that, like, the idea that they're actually just not big frogs. They're little stout things that are just, like, just looking at them standing on these stilts, like... I kind of want to know what went through their head of being like, like what made them decide they're gonna put stilts on? Like, it's just adorable. They solve multiple design issues at once. Nice. Uh, I think we'll go Lucky Toad and get the extra HP. Like, just get us the extra stuff because we do need to heal. The high boys force you to use jump more and realize it's good. Nerf a bit the bowling ball. Yeah, the bowling ball is very strong, so having an enemy that literally can't get hit by them, like, it does make you really kind of think about the way you play a bit more. Like, the thing I like about the cannons. Like, the cannon boys, the fact that they follow you around is like, you can't just go, oh, you're shooting over that way, I'm just going to stay behind you then. Like, the fact they follow you is like, that's cool, because it kind of makes you think about dodging properly. Kind of the only basic enemy that's dangerous from anywhere on the screen. Yeah, right? Because you're like, at least with like the, the toads or the rolling boys, like, you kind of know where they're going to land or like the speed they roll, but... With that cannon, you kind of just like, you have to always know, like, when they shoot, you have to then get out the way. Do enemies have official names in the game description? I mean, if anybody in chat has suggestions, like, even if it's just that that's what we call them, I'll absolutely be here for it. Like, I know these, these guys here are Froggo the Bad. So, like, the mini-boss and the main boss does have a name. No apologies, just curious, because the ones here are incredible. Yeah, the cute, little cutesy nicknames for these, like... It's like, yeah, I'm an angry, evil toad, and I'm here to kill you, but my name is also a tall boy. <laughs> I love it so much. Ooh, nice. Okay, so... I think we took buff before, I and mean, we've taken projectiles, but we don't have any this time, so I think we'll go for extra pain. I mean, we've gotten strength build, so let's just do extra crit damage. Ooh, that was a good shot. I love when, like, things like that just kind of work out. What, was that a double hit? Like, was that... I know it's probably not related to, but I like to think it's got something to do with like having all the luck points. Like that was a very lucky hit. Ooh, okay. So lively froggy to get us extra HP and heal us with extra magic. Or swift hero for agility plus HP. I think the better payoff is lively froggy. Because that that will basically give us three hearts back. So I think we do this one. We're getting close towards the boss fights. Here they are. Here's the little cannon boys. Oh gosh. Yeah, they're hard to dodge, man. Ow. Oh no. Oh, that was close. Oh, I'm gonna die. How? How did I survive that? I'm kind of... I'm kind of a bit thrown by that, actually. I thought I was dead there. <laughs> God! 
Oh, all right. So we get to choose the second weapon. What do you think we do? Fire Wand and Lightning Staff are both magic. We do have a point in that and they both give us a bonus. But we are also high up on strength. So that might give extra damage to the bowling ball. I'm curious what you guys would do here because like I see this and now I'm like, oh, I want to pick everything. Be right back, gonna lurk and grab lunch. No worries, mate. Enjoy food. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you. Love you. Um, I don't think I have shout outs set up yet, but please go and find Amethyst May on on YouTube and Amethyst May Mines because she's amazing. You love me. If you're not for the win, indecisiveness. Yes, my strongest traits. <laughs> um, hmm. I, f I feel like the lightning staff is better in this case because the random spawn, like that could hit somebody that's like the other side of the map. So I feel like for the RNG, let's let RNG just take the wheel. Bowling ball can do an enormous amount of damage here. That is true because of the strength. I haven't been really paying attention to how much extra damage plus strength point I get. Like, I look at these and I'm like, it's shiny, and I like the shiny loot, but like, is it the smartest choice, really? I feel like I'm gonna take the dev's uh, suggestion here, like, you're the one who made the game, and if you're saying bowling ball is OP, I'm doing it. Ow. Yeah, I, I, there's nowhere for me to go there, unfortunately. We did, though, get dash a hundred times, so we got the trick for dash slip. Thank you, Life. I appreciate you so much. So yes, go and check out May. She's over on YouTube. Um, she does stream um, recently a lot of like Disney Dreamlight, but I think uh, she's moving on to doing some Cozy Grove. I've uh, been playing a lot of Hollow Knight. Uh, wonderful, wonderful YouTuber. So please do go and click the link and follow May if you haven't already. Like we love May here. Well, that was unfortunate, but oh shoot, I didn't mean to press try again. My bad. I actually meant to go for a break. <laughs> this autopiloted. Oh yes, and there it is. The uh, Amethyst May Mines channel as well, because Life is another incredible mod who I also don't have a shout out for, but you can go and just click on her name and go to her Twitch and go and follow. Going out for a few minutes, see you later. No worries at all, dude. Thank you so much for popping along. Uh, if you are back later, we'll probably play this for a bit longer and we might move on to just do like end out stream with a little bit of, um, maybe we'll play some James Turner higher or lower with the Sims. Um, let me see, can I remember how to do shout outs? I'm gonna try and do this on my phone. Uh, <laughs> let me see, do I need to add you? If this doesn't work, then I tried. Hey, there he goes. I know how to do things. Yes, go and check out Life. Recently playing the book Walker. I, I was kind of avoiding because of spoilers, but we love Life as much as we love Jay, as much as we love May, as much as we love everyone. We have a wonderful mod team that I am... I've decided to lovingly call my Brewmasters because this is the tea party after all. So please go and follow the Brewmasters. We love them here. But on that note, um, let me just tab out of the game so I can go to OBS. We're going to go to our Bureau back screen, which I did add some of the gifts for Froggy's Battle. So another big thank you to do for the press kit for that because I love these gifts. They're like, the graphics are just amazing and appreciate having these for the stream so we're going to go to our bureau right back screen for a second i thought you said broom masters confuse me a lot with your tea theme yeah that would be confusing that's totally fair uh <laughs> i will just i just have to learn how to speak properly that's it <laughs> i'm a broom master yes you are jay and Oh, we, we love our brewmasters, we love our mods, they do such wonderful work. So we're going to go for a quick break and then we're going to come back and we're going to see if we can beat the boss. 
Uh, we'll give it another few tries, and if we can't get it, then I'll probably just play off stream on my own time, and maybe I'll record it, and then I'll just put it on YouTube, like the final boss run. <laughs> but for now, go and take care of yourself, go and grab a drink, go and stretch, do all the good things. Uh, I'm going to set Pretzel back up, which hopefully you guys can hear, and I've not messed up in the interim, but it should be fine, so... I will be back in a couple of minutes and we'll play more. Hello, I have returned and I spy a Tazzy in chat. How are you, Tazzy? Good to see you. <laughs> Should be going to bed. Stayed up until four last night, so... <laughs> I mean, I know that one quite a lot. Like, this happens to me if I forget to take my, my meds on time. I'm supposed to take it at half past ten at night. It takes two hours to kick in and then I get drowsy and I sleep like a log until morning. If I forget to take it, it's like half two in the morning and I'm staring at my ceiling like, why am I still awake? So, <laughs> so I know that feeling. Also, PSA, med check. If you need to take any, please do. We love self-care here. Anyone seen Monsters University? 
when Mike gets to campus. I'm Jay. Jesse K. It's May. Hooray! <laughs> I have not seen that film, but even just imagining you saying that is just like, okay, that's funny. Oh, but yes, how are you, Tazzy? Uh, we have just been playing Froggy's Battle. Um, I could have just car carried on playing, but uh, the lovely Dev is in chat. I think he's um, off for a break at the moment, but he reminded me to go and take a break. So I uh, went and did the things, but we're going to come back in a minute. We're going to try again. Um, basically, we're trying to beat the boss in this incredible game. Um, I might play the trailer again for anybody who hasn't seen it. If anyone wants to just... Hang on. I can English. If anybody wants to see the trailer, anybody who's here who hasn't seen it already, uh, I can just bring that up. Hopefully it's not playing another James Turner video, but I mean, free promotion for James, I guess. <laughs> but I can bring that up and we can have another watch through that at some point. But I just thought we'd do like a, a quick check in, see how everyone's enjoying the game and what your thoughts are. Uh, thank you for putting the battle command in. Um, feel free to go to the Steam page for Froggy's Battle and go on wishlist. It will help the dev out a lot. And release is on... I think the 19th is... Oh gosh, what day is the 19th? I don't know, it's three days time. Um, so... <laughs> go and check it out. It's minus 10% at launch. Uh, we've been very kindly gifted a key to play early, so... It's wonderful. Wednesday? Thank you, May. I was going to say it was Monday, and then I forgot today was Sunday, and then I was like, wait, what is time? Uh, yeah, let us... Um, let's pause Pretzel and see if OBS is cooperating. Okay, good. We're still on the trailer. Uh, yeah, um, earlier on when I played this, uh, I think I forgot to pause it when I opened OBS. So I pulled it up to play the trailer at the beginning of stream and it was playing one of James's build videos and I'm like, oh, that's not what I'm supposed to be showing right now. <laughs> oh, this is the first time I'm using this kind of thing, but it's fine. So here's the trailer. It's up on YouTube. It's the same thing you'll see on Steam. So let's give this a quick watch. If it will play. So yes, this is available in three days. We've been playing it all day. Um, for anyone who hasn't seen my YouTube channel video on it yet, um, if I quickly pop the socials command, which I know how to spell socials. There we go. Uh, the first link there to the YouTube will take you to my channel where there is a video for this in the demo. We're playing the full release, so it's slightly different to the demo. Um, but this VOD, for anyone who's missed it and wants to watch it, or for some odd reason, I don't know why you want to watch me again, but... Oh my god, desktop audio. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm a professional. Can you tell that I've been away for like four months? <laughs> oh. Anyway, yes. Main uh, On my main channel, there is a demo of this game, and I'll put this VOD up on the VOD channel, so the second link there, you can go there, and I don't know why you would want to watch again, but it's there. Stop, you're doing great. You stop. <laughs> oh, anyway, right. We need to go back to the game screen. And we need to, we need to try and beat this boss. Because we were so close, right at the beginning of stream. And then I just kind of... Like that, I just kind of forgot what buttons were. But... I think we can do it. 
we'll go for about another half hour to an hour and then if we want to round out with some James higher or lower game just to kind of de what's the what's the word for de-excite yourself because this is such a high paced action game that let's just do something chill to wrap up right I want to try the lightning staff again because we haven't had a chance to see it properly and I mean Lightning is amazing. My monk character that I made was a monk cross wizard with cold and electric damage. So I'm like, lightning? It's like, I love lightning. <laughs> Always want to take it. Uh, let's go. Magician. Lightning build. Let's go. Absolutely. Let's not get killed by tadpoles this time. Whoops. I'm just going to put this down to the fact that I've had a break and my muscle memory isn't working. It's definitely not because I'm a terrible gamer. Uh, Lucky Toad, Lively Froggy. Like, I hate taking it this early, but I think we have to. Did not think I was that close. What is... <sighs> okay, this is not the run, but... It's a warm-up. No! Damn, I tried to double dash, but I forgot there's a cooldown on it. <laughs> Fake gamer. Damn it. You guys noticed. I'm not a real gamer. This is why it's so funny that so many people have disliked my Apex short on YouTube because like I put it up because like to me it was really funny being like hiding from a team and they're like inches away from me and I'm like do 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 I'm just gonna sneak past them and within the first like 30 minutes I had like four or five dislikes immediately and I just know there were octanes and wraiths just like I'm mad, just mad at me for not playing the game, you know? I'm like, I'll play the game however the hell I want to. Like, if they didn't want me to sneak, they shouldn't let me sneak. So... It's boss time. Come here. We're in an esports concentration mode. Nice, there we go. That's more like it. I feel that those stupid teammates that left. Yeah, the amount of times that happens when I'm playing in, like, so I'm solo queuing in trios and the team just goes. Nah, you don't have 5,000 kills, you're not going to be on my team. Lightning. Double lightning, absolutely. So get out of this guy's way before he kills us. Actually, press the correct button to jump, and we might actually be okay. Right, Lucky Toad or Skate Master? I feel like those two are going to be the most helpful here, so I think we go Luck. Because we've not got very many rare things, and it would be good to get some, like, bonus stats. Damn it. Why well, you got to be rolling the opposite way, though? Oh god. Oh, there's so many of them. Ugh. Wrong button. Come on. There we go. Lightning build confirmed. Absolutely. Ooh. Hmm. Magical hat with the projectiles and extra agility. That's a nice combination. Is there controller capabilities? Yes, there is. Yeah. I haven't tried it on controller. Um, I was going to, but um, 
I know that whenever I plug my controller in, it always thinks it's a new audio source and I didn't want to have to faff around with making OBS fix itself. So um, I don't know the keys, but I imagine like because there's not too many buttons to focus on, like I f honestly, I can feel like this being a really good controller game. That wasn't the best words for sentences and stuff, but hopefully you get what I mean. Whoops. The dreaded tadpole, yeah. They're like my arch nemesis in this game. Like, I feel like it would be like the cannon boys or the flying ones, but nope, it's the tadpoles. Alright, we're gonna go behind them this time so you don't have to worry about them shooting me. Thank you for the death count life. <laughs> right. We haven't seen the bowling ball in a while, so let's do it. Uh, I think we go strength. There we go, bowling ball hit the guy at the top, and then we get this one. This is more like it. Right. Strength again. I only just got out of the way of that. That was kind of close. Okay, this is a this is a much better run. Now, do we want to go full strength or do we want to boost the agility as well? You get extra projectile damage and attack speed on the bowling ball. Hmm. What do we reckon? Do we put it all in strength or do we try and like even it out? Then this, this one's a thirty percent of physical damage. 10% skate damage. The plus one happens before the plus 30 of strength. Interesting. Okay, so let's try and do a combination then. Oh, that was fast. All right. Okay, I see it. All right, dash flip was the one we got from the achievement. I don't think we've used this yet, so... Let's do it. So this one you see, like, we go, like, invisible for a, uh, invisible for a second. Like, I'm actually just getting distracted. This is probably the worst time to have a bowling ball though against these enemies, but oh, God, where am I? I got so confused for a second then. I'm not sure like how to There's so many of these guys. Oh god. Bowling and dash flip is the worst. I wanted to see the combination, but I can I can see how there's different things where you can have like certain combinations that are definitely like sort of meant to go together but that yeah like I completely forgot at that point like that I was gonna need to oh god let's actually pay attention to my keyboard for a second I just pressed every <laughs> I just pressed every arrow key and like we wondered why I died um I like the spear honestly like Having the reach weapon's really nice. Ooh, double luck. Yes, please. I'll take that as my first card.
I see you, Tadpole. I'm ignoring you for now. There we go. Max HP. Hmm. I think that's not a bad thing to get at the beginning. Whoops! Misjudged that one, didn't I? Alright, one last guy up here. Should we just go full luck? Should we just full send it? Let's see what happens. Nice. Ooh, the backflip with magic. I do like the backflip, I have to say. Yeah, I think we do that. The big jump I really like, but it does confuse me. But that's just me being me. Hmm. I'm still trying to figure out the timing on these guys. Like, making sure like I'm jumping to hit them, but not landing in their attack sphere. There we go, it's a little better. Uh, I think we need the health, so we'll take that one. Sneak up behind this guy, that's unfortunate for him, but good for us. The slow-mo ending when the round is complete, that is really nice. You get like the like the action shot. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh. Oh, we got lots of good options. Hmm. Now this for me is a tough choice. Spiky with the backflip is... Oh, that's actually a good point. Having the combination of the jump with that? Metalhead Froggy? Yes. Alright, let's do it. Ooh, that is powerful actually. Oh, that is broken. <laughs> but like, in the best way, broken. Okay, that might be one of my new favourite combinations. Uh, I want to take extra point in luck just because... We're full sending luck this this round just to see what kind of rare upgrades we can get. There's so many hits I almost can't see where I am half the time. Whoops. Oh, there's a lot of guys. Let's get behind him. There we go. Okay. Um... 
Just so you know, spiky hat still does... Oh, it does damage when you dash through enemies. Alright. That's good to know. Like, a lot of the time I'm, like, trying to just... If there's, like, four or five enemies, I'm, like, just dashing away. So, knowing that, that's quite handy. Uh, I feel like it's got to be a lively froggy. Here we have a boss room coming up. We need the extra health. With these guys, I get so scared about jumping because the amount of times I'm like, I think it's safe to jump and then they just like smack into my face. No! Ow! Oh no! Oh, this is bad. Oh, that was a bit close. Hmm. Now, I feel like the projectiles not even worth looking at with the build we've got. But crit damage or plus one to everything. I feel like because we've got so much luck... That's giving us extra crit chance. So the extra crit chance with the damage might be a nice combination. But I also do like just buffing everything at the same time. Hmm. Plus one might be nice for the movement speed. <laughs> just ouch as a description is me. <laughs> Bless you, Jay. <laughs> Yeah, the plus one is probably going to be a good idea. Oh, these guys. Hello. Come get me. Oh, okay. The backflip spiky hat for these guys makes them so much easier to deal with. Ooh. Yes, please. I'm really just... I was going to say I'm pushing my luck and that was going to be the worst pun I've ever made in my life, but I am trying to see, like... I want to know, like, what kind of things you can get if you've just got, like, full luck. Oh god. These guys are really hard to dodge. Just dashing for my life. Actually, that might be the move with those. Just dashing with the spiky hat. That was actually really good. Ooh, a new achievement just popped up. Open a chest with three rare upgrades. Let's go. Dash is the key here. Yeah, that definitely, like... It felt so much better when you were dashing through them at the end. Like, if I was trying to jump and I was just getting hit by all sorts. Now, this is a really interesting choice. All of them give bonus magic. The light... Oh. Hmm. I mean... Oh, I feel like it's going to be between the staff and the slingshot. Because they both give us extra magic points. So maybe we go for the lightning because... Hmm. Backhand lightning sounds cool. Yeah, I'm more drawn to the lightning here because, like, we get the extra magic points, so having a magic weapon would be pretty sweet. Watching this l little frog backflip with a spear and lightning is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, it's so cute. She's such a badass. We love Froggy. Whoops! Froggy doesn't like that, though. Ooh. Alright. We only have one hit point. This is a really difficult spot to be in. True Barbarian. Yep. <laughs> 
I wonder what would happen if we gave Fen a spear and she became Tornado Fen. That would be a scary thing to come across. Just, I would like to rage now and just start spinning around with triple weapons. Like that, that would be a sight to see. In the final version, there'll always be a health jump if you have one heart left. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that would be really good, actually. Just always having the opportunity to take that. That would be nice. I feel like we... I feel like we go with the Swift Hero because we're building up agility and magic already that we just boost both of them again. Oh, this is a tough choice. Because I feel like we've got enough luck now that we're getting lots of bonus points. We don't really need that much more. So taking the Skate Master might not be the best bet, but... Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna try Swift Hero. Like, this is a really difficult choice. Because I think we're, we're likely to die anyway here, so it's kind of just... Yeah. Oh, do you know what that was? That was our 10th death according to uh, the, um, what's the word for it? Achievement. I know words. So this is the one we got the achievement shiny. I love this, the little froggy hearts in the clover. That's a cute achievement. Ooh, I, I swear, I almost got it. Yeah, I almost, I almost had that, mm-hmm. Did you miss one while you were doing food? Um, I'm not sure. You might have done. I mean, I did have a couple of quick rounds in there, so it might have just missed one, but I'm not I'm not sure. Um, but it didn't look a new helmet, though, which is super cool, and I immediately want to go and find, so... Let's see if we can kind of speed run this. Um, I want to go with the sword, because we haven't really seen much of the sword today. Whoops, missed it. Uh, strong boy, makes the most sense. Find these tadpoles because they are becoming the bane of my existence. <laughs> like, we need to just. I never thought they'd be that much of a problem, but here we are. Hmm. So I am curious, the 15% attack speed, is that on all kinds of attacks or is that only on projectiles? I can't say that I've been like looking to see if like sword swings are faster. You're also getting food, you can't say. <laughs> it is on all of them. Alright, I like the idea of this then because then that like, although we don't have projectiles, it'll allow us to go faster with the sword then. Okay, this is, this is, I don't want to like curse us, but this has been a pretty good run so far. I don't know if we've taken a hit yet. Hmm. Stomp kick or backflip? I, mean, I did like the backflip, but the stomp is also quite nice. Hmm, I think we go stomp this round just to, like, let's just have a look at it. Angry boys, let them rage for a minute. <laughs> Do you remember our last run in Apex this afternoon? You jinxed us and I mess up our potential win. I mean, 
I said that, but we then also got like between us six kills, and that was one of the best rounds I've ever done, so I don't think we jinxed it. I really don't. That was a really good round. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one because I like having the extra points. We don't need magic just yet, but we might do. Let's check where this one's rolling. Oh, they're rolling opposite ways, of course they are. Let's get this one first. Whoops. Missed him. Stomp on him. Nice, there we go. Alright, physical projectile, magic hat, archer hat. We haven't seen the archer hat yet today. I don't think I've used this, so I'm going to take it so we can send some arrows out. Damn it. We've gone so far without taking a hit, but I second guessed which direction it was going to go and I messed up. God, this is a lot of them. Alright, let him finish raging. Alright, agility and health, skate and luck. I think we go agility and health. It's just lots of quick attack speed. Whoops. That was an accidental dash. This is my problem in a lot of games, including this one, is when I, uh, sometimes I just stop concentrating and I press the run buttons and what could be a really good run starts going, like, downhill. <laughs> uh, right, Lively Froggy, we need heal. We're gonna try and speed run this, see if we can get to the final boss room. Whoops! over here now. Got him! Alright, fire starter for magic, the buff froggy for everything, and projectiles... Ooh, double projectiles for the archer would be nice, but... Oh, I do love... This buff froggy is really powerful. I think that's going to be helpful for everything, because it'll be like extra damage, extra crit chance. Whoops. Let's actually jump at the correct time and maybe we might hit something. Oh, they're all coming for me. Hello! Was that a triple kill? <laughs> that doesn't happen very often. Oh, hello! These cannon boys are like, I have, I think the more I see them, the more I think they are one of my favorites, just because they're so squat. They're like really short and really wide, and I love them. Slingshot, extra magic, physical and projectile damage. We've got a lot of stat points at the moment, like, this feels like a good, a good option. Okay, this is good. In some of these cases, I'm not even getting close to them and the projectiles are just killing them. This is, like, this is a good build. Ooh, okay. One strength and one magic that'll give us five points in all three of them, including agility. Extra life plus even more life. 
I think we might actually be good on stats, so maybe we stock up on health points, because with the boss rooms coming up, that might be that might be the move. Hmm. Yeah, I think we do it. Ten health points, here we go. Watch out for the cannons. Oh gosh. Hello. Oh, get out the way. Oh. Oh, there's so much happening. Oh, those projectiles are doing all the work. Robin Hood Frog? Absolutely. This guy's out here shooting everything. Now, I'm tempted by this. I don't know if it's the smart move, but that will bring our skate points up to the same as everything else. Is this the run? It's feeling like a good run. Like, I don't think we need too much extra luck and we're not using magic. So I think if we do this, the plus one damage over the 10% damage. Come on, this has got to be the run. Oh, he's fast. Uh oh. Just dash, just keep dashing. Oh, the music is ramping up. This is like. It's getting my adrenaline pumping. Like, this is like. I'm not the adrenaline junkie who loves going heights or bungee jumping. Like, give me a game like this. Oh, come on. Come on, get him! No! Come back! Come on. Yes! There we go! Oh. oh my god, why are my hands sweating? <laughs> oh, one more room. Oh, wow. Okay, um, I feel like at this point we just take Lucky Toad. Lots of hearts coming to us. Yes, yeah, I think last time we got here we only had one or two hearts, so this is, this is a strong point. Like, oh, all right, I'm going to take this one, get us a point in luck and a point in skate. Are we ready for this? Oh, right, let's do it. All right, attack the hands. Shoot, all right. So we have to avoid... Oh, avoid the tongue. I have to keep an eye out for where the arrows are. Oof, okay. Um, I don't think anything's coming at us yet. Watch those hands. Alright, we need to deal with the cannons before we deal with the main guy, because that's going to be a problem otherwise. Oh, come on. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Oh no! Oh, come on! Oh, we're so close to the end! Let's go! <gasps> yes! <laughs> Let's go! <sighs> Beat the final boss, Frog King! Look at that crown! Oh! What? Unlocked hard mode. Heck yes. Let's go. Battle time, 6 minute 8 seconds. Enemies beaten, 123.
Hits taken 11. Best DPS 59.6. That's so close to being 69, and that's my only regret. <laughs> Max damage of 34. Oh, that was a that was a really good build. I'm gonna have to remember that. So it's what like stump kick sword. Adre uh, adrenaline. Archer. Because I'm full of adrenaline. I'm pumped. <laughs> but the archer hat, the slingshot, the buff. Like, that was a really nice build. Like, I didn't focus too much on any one thing. But definitely see what you mean, right? Getting luck early. Really, really helpful for later down the line. Ugh, should we try hard mode one time just to see what it's like? I feel like I'm going to be here forever if I just try and beat it, but... Just to see what it's like. I kind of just want to, you know, we're showing off all parts of the game today, so. Let's kind of see what this has in store. Like. Because this already looks like more enemies off the bat. Maybe they have more health. Uh, lightning, please, because we love lightning. This has been so much fun. Just even even on the rounds where I just was a mess and stuff like Oh. Sorry, I'm having so much fun today. Like I'm so glad that you know, you're able to be here for this dude because like I want to just constantly just praise this game for something that seems like such a simple concept. It has brought me so much just genuine joy. And like I'm so glad that you're able to, to come along and just like be here, just experience it with us. Because like having having you around to just be like, you know, just to tell you how much like fun I'm having. It's just it's so good. Like, I'm going to be telling everyone I know to get this. Like, this is like a perfect time for the uh, exclamation mark battle plug. So for anyone who's like not wishlisted this yet, uh, what are you doing? Uh, get onto Steam and uh, go and wishlist it now because it's coming out in three days. And it's if you haven't had fun watching, then you might have fun playing. So absolutely recommend it. I feel like I'm a little worried about I won't say that this is going particularly well but it's also not going badly either so I'm like this is kind of scary like on hard mode and I'm like there we are I was about to say like this feels a little okay and then it was not okay Oh, but yes, we beat we beat the boss, and that is me satisfied. I am gonna spend the rest of the day with a big grin on my face because, like, I was gonna be so disappointed if we got to the end of stream today and I didn't beat the boss, but we got there. Like, I didn't manage to beat it in the demo, so I'm like, this feels like redemption. So <laughs> I'm so glad we did it. Oh, yes, I I am. I'm having so much fun and I appreciate you coming along so much. This for such a little game, like small team, big dreams and big success in my in my opinion. Like Oh, this is so good. I uh, I'm going to hop out of the game and go back to our just chatting screen. And uh, let's put Pretzel back on, because suddenly, after all that music, it seems very quiet. There we go. That's a bit better. Actually, have a... No awkward silence after that, but... Glad you could be here for it. It was so much fun to watch. I I'm glad it was fun to watch, because honestly, it was so much fun to play, that like I was going to be really upset if, you know... 
I was like, I'm having fun, and at that point I'm like, I'm glad I'm having fun and stuff, but, you know, the fact that you guys enjoyed it as well is, you know, that's what's important to me. Uh, thank you again, dude, for coming along. Really, really appreciate you being here, and thank you so much for the key um, for early access. This has been one of the best Sundays I've had in a while outside of our D&D streams, and... Oh, it's just, it's been great. So thank you for being here. Um, do we want to play one round of, oh, well, I'll say one round. It'll probably turn to 10, but do we want to play a little bit of James Turner's higher or lower? Or I kind of almost feel like I want to like wrap it up here in a way and just be like, you know, we beat the boss. This feels like a good spot actually to maybe just be like, call it. That's the success for the day. Oh, I've had such a good day. Uh, I couldn't have asked for a better first stream back. Uh, I don't know when my next streams are going to be. It's kind of, it's kind of going to be like a as and when basis because I mean anxiety and stuff. But yeah, I'm hoping to maybe get some more in. Like, I'm so glad my Ethernet's working again because, like, it took me months to get that working and now that it is working properly like I can actually stream again and I can do it whenever I want now so that's great um but yeah not sure if I'm gonna be doing any more streams this week uh but if I do go live again you can always find me like Wednesdays and Sundays are my guaranteed stream days like I won't be streaming any other day unless it's like a particular reason why I would be but you know, if you're not already, if you're not already following, uh, you can do so, but you know, you don't have to. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you so much for coming along today. This has been, this has been great. Uh, I've had so much fun. Um, and we're going to find somebody to go and raid. Um, if anyone has suggestions, please do let me know. Um, but yeah, we're going to go and take the energy over to somebody else. Let's see who is online right now. Ooh, Wolfie is online. Got uh, JTWB is online playing Bramble. Bramble is a game that I do want to play at some point, but I've been avoiding story spoilers, honestly, um, because it looks so good, but I, I want to play it for myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, we can go over to Wolfie playing Dragon Age. We love Wolfie. He's an absolute sweetheart, so... Um, yeah, if I can remember how to do raid things, uh, I'll set that up in a minute, but just wanted to, to say, like, once again, like, thank you to do for the key, for all of the, like, the wonderful times we've had today, and thank you everyone for showing up, really appreciate it, like, I was anxious coming back to, to stream, but you guys have made it, like, really comfortable, so I appreciate it so much. Right, so, slash raid, wolf tracks. Now, I don't remember. I'll check before I do it because I don't want to, like, be in the middle of a sign-off and it sends us away. If I do the raid, there's a countdown, right? Is that the countdown to the raid or is that the countdown to start the raid? If that makes sense. And yes, thank you, May. That's the uh, our current raid command. So if you want to copy that and pop it into Wolf Tracks chat, feel free. There is a countdown. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's uh, start the raid going. Thank you for the stream. Well, thank you for showing up, Dragon. I really appreciate it. It's really good to see you. Um, yeah. This has been a lot of fun and hopefully we get to do more streams. Um, definitely, as I say, none this week because I have a interview to potentially get a volunteer job at the library this Wednesday. So maybe good things on the horizon. But next time there'll be a stream, uh, I will let you know on Twitter. So if you're not following Twitter, feel free to go and follow over there and hit the button somewhere on the Twitch page and you'll get a notification. Um, but until then, thank you so much for being here. Much love to everyone. And uh, remember, it's always tea time somewhere in the world.
拜拜。